Hello and welcome to the Yoga Society. Today's video is designed for people who are traveling. So if you've been cooped up in an aeroplane or in the car driving for long distances, this little practice is designed to help stretch out your hip points, open your chest and get you present again in the moment. So we begin today on our mat using a rolled up blanket as our prop. Hopefully you'll have a towel or something close by that you might be able to use. Something soft just to pat our knees a little bit later on in the sequence. So we're starting sitting up tall in Sukhasana or any comfortable shape that you like that is upright. Bringing your hands to rest gently on your thighs, palms facing up. We gently shut the eyes and bring your chin parallel to the earth. We start to slow everything down. Letting go of time. Letting go of your to-do list. Trusting that you are exactly where you're meant to be right now. Relaxing the fine muscles around your eyes and all the muscles in your mouth, including your tongue. Letting your shoulder blades glide down your back so there's space from your ears to your shoulders. Smooth out the skin between your eyebrows. start to arrive. Letting go of what has already happened. Listening to the sounds around you. Noticing the air on your skin, the temperature and the quality of the air. Is there a breeze? And choosing to take this time for you. Drawing deep belly breaths, big long inhales through the nose, and smooth extended exhales also through the nose. Noticing the rise and fall of your belly your body's natural expansion and contraction. On your next inhale, hands to gentle prayer at your heart. Take a moment to set your own intention. Why are you here? Letting eyes gently bat open. Staying dreamy and focused on yourself. On your next inhale, we let the arms reel open. Stretching fingertips side to side, right to left, we reach to each side like Kate Winslet on Titanic. We're going to be catching beach balls here and those beach balls are going to ask our arms to go back and our heart to come forward as we lift our chin towards the sky. Look up. On the exhale, we come back to our prayer. Nice and simple. Inhale, arms open, stretch. 
book up. Exhale back to your prayer. Inhale, arms open, look up. This time hands reach above your head to prayer high in the sky. Then we're bending at the elbows. So the prayer now goes behind your head, the thumbs pointing down. We bow our head forward, chin to chest. Elbows stay glued to the side of your head. We draw a line with our thumbs from nape to navel. So you're drawing up over your head. Elbows stay close all the way down past your face, back towards your heart. Inhale, we open. Exhale, prayer above your head. Inhale, bend elbows, chin to chest. Exhale, draw the line over your head, back to your heart. One more time. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we reach. Inhale, we bend. Exhale, back to your heart. Moving towards our tabletop shape. So you'll need to move your little blanket so that it can pad your knees. So get yourself set up for greatness here. So you really wanna make sure that your knees are padded and the blanket's approximately the same width as your mat because we're gonna have a wide leg child's pose very soon. But starting off in our tabletop shape, Place your knees gently on your little rug, knees hip distance apart, and feet directly behind your knees. Your hands are being planted on the ground, wrists under shoulders, all five fingers spread wide like a starfish, so big, wide starfish hands. Really plant yourself. Tops of the feet stay pressing down on the mat. Turn your face to look down between your thumbs, lifting your heart space. Belly button is drawn up towards the spine. Drop your belly, inhale, rise up through your face, tipping your bottom like Donald Duck's bum as we inhale to cow. Chin to chest, crown grows heavy, lift your belly button, tuck your tail, exhale, you're a hissing cat. Inhaling to cow. All the way, feel the stretch, follow the breath, and exhale to cat. Coming through our tabletop, big toes together to touch, knees as wide as your yoga mat. Send your hips all the way towards your heels. Forehead comes down, wide leg child's pose. Just for a few breaths, getting the hips ready for our next motion. Press into the palms, come up high on your knees. Here we go. Your right hand is gonna stay planted. Inhale, left fingertips float to the sky. Reach high away. Then we're gonna thread the needle. So the left hand passes through the bridge form from your body to the ground. Left fingertips over the right edge of your mat all the way so that your left ear can come down to the ground. Set yourself up, reach the fingertips as far as they'll go and then let your right elbow drop down. Feel the stretch on your inner left hip. You wanna feel it pinching under here, high under the thigh. Your right forearm can swim around now finding its way to your lower spine and peeling the right shoulder towards the sky. Let everything relax. Settle in, breathe.
if your mind is wandering, we bring it back to the breath. Six more full belly breaths. Over the next little while, letting the right hand come all the way forward to plant on the ground, taking the weight. The left fingertips on an inhale float all the way back to the sky. We plant them on the ground and come back to tabletop. Relax, rest your knees. All is good. <laughs> so in this tabletop, Send the crown forward, send the tail back, lift your heart space. Tops of the feet stay pressing in. Slow everything down. Let go of the need to know what comes next. Over the next little while, you're going to plant the right foot on the outside of the right hand. So the right foot is coming all the way up to the top of your mat, knee over ankle and knee tracking over your third toe. So you might want to walk the other knee back a little bit to find a comfortable place. Your feet are on railway tracks, they're not on a tightrope, so you want to make sure the right foot is towards the right edge of your mat and the left knee is towards the left edge of your mat. We want to find a full range of motion here in this hip. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the foot out to ballerina and rock onto the knife edge of your foot, letting the knee splay open. This might already be enough for you and that is okay. <laughs> if you're happy to keep trying to go further, let your elbows come down to the earth and bow forward. Three full belly breaths. Crown is heavy. There's ease in your face. Noticing the discomfort in that right hip socket. We want to work right into that edge. Not pain, but we definitely have a sensation. Six more full belly breaths.
in your own time when it feels okay to bring the palms back to the ground. Turn the foot gently back towards the front, coming high on that knee again and slowly, slowly moving like you're 20 years older than you are. We gently bring the right knee back towards our tabletop. Here we go. Big toes together to touch knees as wide as your mat. Getting ready. Left hand is taking the weight. Inhale right fingertips all the way up to the sky. And exhale, thread the needle. Fingers go under the bridge. Right fingers over the left side of your mat, the right ear coming down. Let the left elbow go floppy as you find your edge. The forearm of the left arm comes to lower back. Palm is facing out. We rotate the shoulder up towards the sky. Notice the twist through solar plexus. Breathe. Six more full belly breaths. the next little while letting the left hand come gently forward to plant we're going to press into the palm inhale right fingertips float all the way back up to the sky and exhale the hand comes back into alignment knees coming under your hips setting yourself up wide starfish hands the left foot is going to the outside of the left hand. Walk the right knee back very gently and with full awareness. Left foot towards the left edge of your mat, right knee towards the right edge of your mat. We turn the left foot towards a ballerina shape and then roll onto the knife edge and we gently lower ourselves down. Notice the difference between your sides. This one might be a lot easier or a lot harder. Let everything go. We're working into joints and fascia, letting go of your muscles, using time and gravity to find space. Notice what part of you is taking the strain 
Are you clenching your bum cheeks? Can you ask them to just switch off? Can you turn everything off? Six more full belly breaths. And over the next little while, bringing the weight back into the palms. Bring the right knee back up and gently, slowly bringing the left leg around all the way. We're coming onto our tummies now. So you can remove your little blanket and gently place your forearms down, letting the hips lower to the earth, stacking the palms and letting your forehead rest. Let everything go. Pressing into the palms, bringing the elbows under the shoulders finding our sphinx shape. So the forearms are down to start with. Feet are wider than hip distance apart. There's no rule here. There's looseness in your, in your lower back. We're bringing the palms together to touch and the knife edge of your pinky coming down to the mat. Finding your happy place here, a position that is sustainable. There's no point going to the 10 if you're not going to be able to stay there. We prefer to work at a four or a six so that you can have the endurance and sustain it for the full amount of time. So as we settle in, gently shut your eyes. And let everything go. Letting shoulders glide away from your ears. Ironing out the wrinkles in the back of your neck. And all of the muscles from your belly button down are now turned off. Notice your thoughts. The number of thoughts and the quality of thoughts. Six more full belly breaths. Feel the belly on the ground as you inhale. And 
with the next little while. Gently lowering yourself down, cactus arms, your head can fall one way or the other. And let everything go. Whichever way your face is facing, we gently turn the other direction so we get equal stretch in your neck. for the next little while. We move towards fetal position on your left hand side. So we're rolling onto our left. Your left arm becomes your pillow. The knees and elbows generously bent. We just pause for a moment. Check in. And slowly, slowly, we're rolling onto our backs, our legs extending out so the heels are on the ground. We're all the way down onto the mat. Palms to face upwards. We lay here in pentacle, just to notice. We're moving towards banana shape. So the heels are going to edge their way all the way to the left. Now the trick here is to keep your right hip on the ground and you know you've gone too far to the left if your right hip starts to rise up. So we want to keep that right hip down and walk the feet until you can feel the stretch down your right hand side but the hip is still grounded. Once you've reached your limit, the right ankle crosses over the left. Once your legs are in their favorite position, we gently edge the upper chest towards the left, keeping both shoulder blades on the ground, relaxing your feet and relaxing your face. Letting the left arm fall above your head, elbow generously bent. Letting the right arm also fall above your head. Your left hand grabs the right wrist and gently weighs it down, relaxing everything into banana shape. Turn your face to the left and let go. Six more breaths. the hands. 
Letting the palms fall, one to heart, one to belly. We gently edge the chest, the upper torso back into its alignment. Unhook your right foot and we gently walk the heels back into alignment. Drawing the soles of the feet to the ground, letting the knees fall into each other, just to rest. Heel toe, the feet together, extend the legs, heels to the ground. We gently walk the heels over to the right, finding your edge, both hips remaining on the ground. This time the left ankle crosses on the right as we find our position. Edging your upper chest towards the right, both shoulder blades staying on the ground. The right arm falls above your head, the left arm falls, the right hand grabs the left wrist to weigh it down. Turn your face to the right and let everything go. Six more full belly breaths. And gently release the hand, one hand coming to heart, one to belly, as we edge the chest, upper thorax back into alignment, unhook your foot, walk the heels back, bring the soles of your feet together and let the knees fall into each other, feeling your sacrum on the earth. We gently roll to the left hand side, we pause and using your hands gently and slowly press yourself back up to our original seated position, keeping eyes dreamy or shut. This time we turn our palms downwards on our thighs to seal the practice. Gliding shoulders down and away, bringing chin parallel to the earth. Drawing attention to the line from crown to tail. Notice your breath. Bringing hands to gentle prayer at your heart so your sternum is rising to meet your thumbs. Lifting up through the crown of your head on the inhale. Exhale, bow chin to chest. Your moment to be with you. The divine in me recognizes the divine in you. And together, to ourselves and each other, we say Namaste. Namaste.